So it's more than just coming in and getting a dog. There's a lot more steps to that. Uh, the adoption process. It's a very it's kind of a long process and there's a lot of aspects that are important. Uh, today Ruben is going to tell you about this process since he did adopt a dog from this from the gone to the dog. So Ruben. Thank you. Um, okay to talk about the adoption process. Um, if you have never um, adopted a pet before you're probably wondering how it's to work uh, how long does it take? Uh, how much does it cost? And whether to do it from a rescue or from a shelter? Well, today I'm going to answer this uh, questions for you. Uh, we lost our dog uh, probably about a year ago. Uh, he got really sick. We had we had the dog for about for about seven years. Then he got a, a disease that. He went blind, and then he was getting really aggressive. So we decided that we're gonna we're gonna put him down. Um, after we did that, our house wasn't the same. You know, we had him for that long, and uh, we were kind of dividing whether we were gonna do. You know, we could just go get him from a breeder or get a dog from a breeder and just pay the money, whatever it is, and get it from them. But then we start thinking about it, and we thought, how many animals are out there that uh, you know, uh, they don't have uh, uh, a loving home that they can come to, uh, or they need somebody that you know that will provide for them. And we decided that we were going to do uh, an adoption from a rescue. So we adopted uh, Jupiter. That's our dog. Uh, we got him when he was seven weeks. Uh, he's probably about seven months now. Uh, but the process to get your dog adopted is about six steps. And the first step that you need to do is um, you uh, will send an email to, and, and there's probably some places that you are going to do more steps or less steps depending on where you go to. Uh, you send an email and you introduce yourself and you know, tell them uh, different things about the more you, the more information you give them about yourself, the better chance you are that you're going to be, you know, um, adopting a dog. Uh, so you can put your no, your uh, what kind of house you have. It's a fence stand, you know, all that kind of information is good to put in there. Uh, then the second step is uh, they they will provide a, a form uh, which you're going to fill out. Uh, with the information that you already told them, uh, or more even. And then after that, uh, once you submit the form, um, they will contact you uh, to let you know about an adoption uh, event. Because what they do is, uh, if you're going to do it from, uh, from a rescue, they shelter the dog in houses. And once they have uh, an event scheduled, they bring all the dogs into uh, a local pet store and they ask the people that submitted the, the adoption form to come out there and meet the dog that you want. Uh, you can also, they have pictures of it on the website too. And the steps are, um, you can go to uh, adoptapet.com and that's, you know, for all the information you can find the shelter that I went to, or not shelter, the rescue that I went to, uh, which is uh, gone to the dog. Um, after you submit your uh, application, um, a volunteer will schedule a house check because they sometimes if they don't get enough information in the form or when you introduce, they, they come into your house and just to double check that, you know, everything is, is gonna be okay for the, for the dog. Uh, in my case, they didn't come to my house, but you know, <laughs> it might happen to somebody. Um, then after that, uh, number five, uh, they would call you once they, all this process has been done, they will call you with the good news, you know, that you were going to be the recipient of the, the dog, that you're going to be able to take this dog as a new family member to love them and, you know, take care of them. Um, then after that, after you get the news, um, they will 
send you um, an email with a copy of uh, the vaccination and the, uh, sterilization records because that's something that they do. They kind of, kind of make it a point that when they release the dogs, uh, it's going to go somewhere they, they want to make sure it's not going to reproduce and, you know, get more puppies out there that, that are not going to be wanted and that it's healthy when you get it. In some cases, like going to the dog, they also um, put a chip in the dog and that way in case, you know, if, if, it gets, if it gets lost, you can track it down with that. And um, next, number six, um, is the signing uh, the contract, the adoption contract. You just sign, and, and there's a fee, because what they do with the fee, the fee is range between 100 to $300. Um, and what they do with that is because they have so many more animals they need to uh, take care of, that money that it's like a donation that you do uh, it's going to be used for to pay for the vets and uh, you know the food that they need different things that they need for the dogs um, after that after all the hard work that you've been through all the steps uh, the reward is that you get to enjoy your dog take your dog home and just love them forever <laughs> um, now adopting Jupiter into our family have brought great joy and many lives Adopting a dog reduces the stress that a person experiences greatly. Uh, Madeline is going to continue talking about a few details about this organization. Thank you. Okay, so um, we have been, like Bruce said, we've been in contact with Mandy Morin, the um, founder of this organization, since the beginning of our project, and she really focused like Bruce said again, on a lot like on the animals. She just she's very passionate, you can tell about them. And she said in one of her emails that she started the organization after working with other rescues.